Dear students, welcome to the analysis of one of my favorite novel that is called The Concubine. This novel was written by uh, L.H. Amadi. The setting of the novel is Nigeria. And uh, the novel was published in 1966. Introduction What is the novel The Concubine about? The Concubine is a novel that tells a story or describes about a woman called Ihuoma, a very beautiful woman and hardworking, but who is not ordinary, because every man who marries Ihuoma dies because Ihuoma was said to be uh, the wife or to have been the wife of the sea king, the sea king who is jealous and he doesn't want her get married to another or any man on earth. In this novel, Emenike and Ekueme die because they marry Ihuoma. Madume also is made blind and tortured by the cobra. But this is because uh, of, of, of the sea king who doesn't want to see uh, uh, Ihuoma become disturbed by any person. By concluding, the novel is easy to read and it is a traditional one, revealing African issues like beliefs in supernatural powers, bride price, land conflict, polygamy and sexy preference. Title of the novel The title of the novel reflects the content of the novel. In this novel, Ihuoma, as I told you previously, is not allowed by the sea king to marry any man except that she can only be a concubine. Anika, the medicine man, says, Well, she could be someone's concubine. Dear students, let us dive shortly into setting of the novel. The novel is set in Western Africa, Nigeria in specific, and it was published in 1966. The specific area where the novel was set is Omokachi village. Ladies and gentlemen, let us look at characters and the characterization. The first character in this novel is Ihuoma. Ihuoma is a beautiful young woman she is very kind. This means she loves people. She welcomes people. Okay. She is very hardworking. So she doesn't stay at home waiting for food from other people or simply taking some money from men. No. So she is hardworking. She is admired by every man who sees her. And this is due to her beauty. She was extraordinarily beautiful. She was the wife of the sea king. Okay, so Ioma was said to have been the wife of the sea king, the spirit. Okay. Ioma is therefore not allowed to marry any man on earth. As Anika put it clear, she can 
be a concubine only. Ihuoma helps Ekweme's parents to make Ekweme recovers from his confusion or madness. You know, there are, there are times when Ekweme became sleepless, you know, and he, he was sick. So, uh, of course, and by the time he was in need of seeing uh, Ihuoma, therefore... Ihuoma tried to be very near to Ekwe, to, to Ekwe or to Ekweme so that Ikweme could feel well. Okay, so Ihuoma is the central character in this novel. Another character is Emenike. Emenike is the husband of Ihuoma. Okay, he was later killed after the fight with Madume over the land. So the reason, the surface reason was that they were fighting for land. However, we shall later on discover that, okay, so that was simply the surface reason. That was another deep uh, reason that was hidden. Okay, so... Emenike, his, his death is also attributed to the jealous sea king who doesn't want Ihuoma get meld uh, by any man on earth. He was a very hard-working man. Dear students, another character is called Madume. Madume uh, is the husband of Wolu. He loves Ihuoma and makes conflict with Emenike due to that reason. Okay, now we see. So, although uh, Emenike died, uh, uh, of course, um, due to, I mean, there was some kind of conflict between Emenike and Emadume, but the reason uh, that caused the, uh, his death is actually um, the jealous, the jealous seeking who did, didn't want. Uh, of course, uh, Ihuoma gets mailed to another person. Another uh, feature is Madume wants to marry Ihuoma after the death of her husband. So after the death of uh, Emenike, Madume wants to marry Ihuoma. But actually, Ihuoma refuses that. Okay. Madume, another, uh, another feature of Madume is that Madume likes quarrels. He likes fighting. Most of the time is just uh, need of fighting with other men. Okay. Another uh, feature is Madume is portrayed as lazy. So he simply owns a small plot of land. And he's, he's, not, he's, he's not always going to, <coughs> to cultivate, you know. Okay. Another feature is he was killed as the result of cobra spiting into his face. And this was also... Are considered as the wrath or anger of the sea king, right? And that is why we simply said um, that uh, Ihuoma was not an ordinary person, was just an common. Okay? Another, 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 another uh, character is Ekweme. Uh, a man, um, he's a man who loved Ihuoma very, very much. He wants to marry her, but he fails due to interruptions from the sea king. He, he, he then dies uh, by an arrow of the son of Ihuoma before marrying Ihuoma. Okay, so this time Ekweme was, was, was at Ihuoma's home and... Just like by an accident, the son of Ihuoma uh, was just praying with an arrow, and at the end of the time, the arrow uh, faced the Ekweme and killed him. So Ekweme was a hard-working man and a good singer. Okay, so he just used it to sing in the village events and, you know, he was admired by, any, by, by many women also in the village. Okay, so his wife, 
is called Ahurore, but they break when he was given and affected by love portion. Love portion, portion, and this okay. Love portion in, in, in Swahili can be interpreted as limbwata, right? Yeah. Another character is Nadi. Nadi. Nadi is the brother in law to Ihuoma. Is the brother also of the of the, of the husband of of the first husband of Nadi? I mean of 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 Ihuoma who died. Okay, so Nadi is kind. Yeah, he loves people. He loves people. He watches of he, he watches over Ihuoma all the times after death of her husband. And uh, Nadi is also a symbol of unity. Another character is Ahulole. 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 So Ahulole is the wife of Ekueme. She is very beautiful. She goes to medicine mani anyika for love portion. She was advised by her mother-in-law. But at the end of the time, the love portion that she received from Anika made her husband become mad. Other characters, other minor characters are like Iwonuma, Wagbala, and Enenda. Okay. Dear uh, students, the following are thematic analysis of the novel The Concubine. The first theme is love and marriage. Amadi, or well, Elech Amadi, the novelist in his novel, shows how love among people is essential. In this novel, love is portrayed as powerful and that it can bring various tragedies like conflict and death. In this novel, the novelist presents the following characters whose roles are related to love issues. Firstly, Emenike loves and marries Ihuoma. The love between these two couples and when Emenike dies, leaving Ihuoma a widow. The death of Emenike is later uh, attributed to have been caused by the sea king who is jealous and doesn't want Ihuoma, uh, who was his wife before, get married. This love also causes conflict between Emenike and Madume. Madume loves Ihuoma, but he fails to marry her because she has already been married uh, to Emenike. Secondary, Ekueme loves a widow Ihuoma. He does every possible means to win her, but his efforts becomes his downfall or death because Ihuoma is not an ordinary woman. She was once the wife of the spirit, the sea king. Thirdly, Madume loves Ihuoma, but he fails to marry her. He tries to force her, but ultimately ends up in death. Therefore, love can bring conflict and tragedies depending on the situation through which it occurs. And finally, we see that even the spirits do fall in love. Example, the sea king. Dear students, apart from that, we have uh, another theme that is African traditions and customs. Africa, okay, so African traditions and customs or traditions and customs are the people's ways of life. It includes their beliefs which are passed from one generation to another. 
Below are African traditions indicated, or the following are uh, traditions, African traditions and customs indicated in this novel. First, superstition and uh, witchcraft. In Africa, many people still believe in superstition and witchcraft. Evidences are shown, are shown in this novel. Example, some animals or birds like vultures are attributed to superstition beliefs. They believe that when a vulture is seen on one's roof, there must be a divine message it brings. That is a belief. Another, okay, in this novel, Ahulole goes to the witch doctor to find the love portion or limbwata in Swahili so that she can be loved by her husband. And this is even nowadays uh, practiced by most of the women. They wish to win love from their husbands. However, sometimes uh, this practice leads to bad or to bad impacts like diseases, okay, like madness, you see, and the other problems. Another is before big issues like marriage, people consult witch doctors like Anika. So this is a tradition, African tradition. Another tradition is it is believed that if Uoma is the wife of the sea king, therefore she should not be married. This is a belief. I don't, we don't know if it is true. Because this message was received from Anika, the medicine man. Also, Ekweme's parents think that their son is bewitched when he gets confused. Bewitched by whom? Okay, so the medicine, of course, that uh, his wife brought is what made him get confused. Another it is Another is that it is also believed that a person cannot die without a reason. So some of the Africans believe that a person cannot die without any reason. Another thing is Ekweme's mother thinks that Ekwe loves Ihuoma because of love portion. Ladies and gentlemen, dear students, another uh, tradition is polygamy. In page 40, I mean 56 and page 97 of this uh, novel, polygamy is indicated. In this novel, Amadi presents African tradition of polygamy through the following characters. First, Aholole's father, Owagbala, had two wives. Madume wanted to add the second wife. The father of um, Gibachi, or Nadi's wife, had uh, had had four wives when he died. The novelist wants us to access whether polygamy is still used in today's life. Do you think polygamy is good? Why or why not? Dear students, another uh, tradition is Bride Price. This novel tells us that a Bride Price is a prerequisite condition to be fulfilled so that marriage between lovers is made possible. A man has to pay bride price so that he becomes respected. Example, Ekweme paid bride price for Ahulole. Ekweme wanted to pay bride price so as to, to have Ihuoma as his wife. So in Nigeria, bride price is also taken as the source of income. In the novel, Madume expects to get a bride price for, I mean, for his daughters. The bride, okay, so the bride price would be used by, by him to get another wife. The issue, dear students, of bride price can be seen in page, I mean, page 92 of our novel. Dear students, another tradition is shaving after death of close relatives. Shaving hair after death of close relative. So when a close relative dies, people should shave their hair to indicate that they have been in trouble, that they, uh, there is a misfortune that had happened to them. Ihuoma shaves when her husband dies. 
dear students another uh, tradition is early childhood engagement and this can be seen in page 98 early childhood engagement in Nigeria parents would choose their sons a wife even when their son is still a baby example Ahulole and Ekueme got engaged when they, they were still children or babies. Ekwe or Ekueme was still five years. Another thing is sexy preference. In African societies, a baby boy is much preferred because it is expected um, to take or to perpetuate the clan name and to inherit properties a woman cannot inherit. Are those traditions and customs, dear students, also present in your society? Are they good or bad, according to you? Why? Okay. Dear students, another theme is position of women in the society. Position of women in the society. So women... Uh, are, are, are not, I mean, are, are given different positions in this novel by uh, Rachel Mad. Women, for, uh, for example, are not allowed to inherit properties. Therefore, Madume get angry for not uh, having a son. He was on, he, ha, he had the only uh, uh, daughters, so he gets angry. Another uh, second position is women are portrayed as good advisors. Example, Yehuoma advises people and they settles disputes among other women. So Yoma advises Ahulole to respect her husband, and this can be seen in page 125 of this novel. Another position of women is women take care of their family, and this can be seen through Ihuoma too. Another position of women is women are portrayed as weak. Page 114 or 114. Men who run away from problems are compared to women. Mm -hmm. So this indicates that women are weak, right? When a boy misbehaves, he is warned or told not to behave like a woman. Mm -hmm. Look, you will behave like a woman if you are brought up by a woman, right? So, okay, so a son is not advised to be uh, brought up by, uh, by a woman simply because he will behave also like a woman. Another uh, position of women is women are portrayed as sources of income. Madume who have four daughters consider them as source of income for him to have another wife. Okay. Dear students, another theme is unity and love. African people are endowed with unity and love among themselves. People love each other in both uh, uh, in, uh, in both happy and sad moments. In this novel, Nadi's wife, Ekweme and Ewakili, are unified. They all help Ihuoma, a widow, in preparing for second burial, uh, burial rites of her husband. Also, they all cooperate to make sure Ihuoma's house is thatched before the rain season. Amadi, in his novel, wants to show how kind the African people are. He wants to prove the proverb, a friend in need is a friend indeed. Nadi's wife is kind, she loves and helps Ihuoma. People unite together. When Ekwe uh, got lost in the forest, they help in searching or looking for him. This is an indicator of unity. Dear students, another theme is death and life. The novelist shows that all people who were born will one day die. According to the novelist, death is unavoidable. In the novel, Emenike died although he was considered a good man. Madume also died despite being harsh, tough and quarrelsome. Ekwe or Ekweme also died. Although death is unavoidable, yet it brings uh, terror among people. Ihuoma wishes that her husband is brought back. She says, is there no way of bringing back my, my love or my lord? 
death is a bad thing, Yuhoma puts it clear through the proverb she says. The old man says that death is a bad reaper. It is not always after the ripe fruit. Dear students, message, there are different messages from the novel. Number one, although love is natural and important, it must be handled carefully. And this means that not every beautiful woman is worth marrying. For example, Yehoma brings tra tragedies to people. Number two, some African traditions are good while others are outdated. Good traditions must be protected while bad traditions must be left or, or, or abandoned. Number three, polygamy can be a source of spread of sexual transmitted disease. However, we can de decide upon this. Number four, conflict is malicious. It can cause death. Example, death of Emenike was attributed to conflict with Madume. Number five, all children are good, be girls or boys. Sex preference is out of date. Six, women are as important as men. They must be treated justly. Seven, yunt is very important in human life. Eight, death is natural and unavoidable. All human beings will one day die. The last three is relevance of the novel. The novel is very relevant as it reflects an African life. African traditions and customs have been shown sufficiently in the novel, like land conflict, polygamy, bride price, and the unit. They are all part and parcel of African life. So the novel is relevant to the uh, current society of Africa. Thank you very much, dear students, for listening. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Ciao.